Hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this Pursuit to Christ. My name is Shula Rollins and I am the founder of Shula Ministries Entertainment, in, Entertainment and Associates Inc. So basically we've been on a topic that's entitled Leveling Up. And so I thought that I would talk about today some realities that we would have to confront or face or deal with as the Lord brings us into abundance, greatness, and wholeness. And so basically, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so, okay? We are going places, we are dealing with a lot of things here. And in leveling up, we are accepting the life that Christ died for us to have, the life that Christ ordained and sanctified us for before we were even created. We're going for all that, um, you know, Christ died for us to have. And so basically, I share on the other YouTube channel, which is Shula Ministries Overcomers Anonymous, I share seven tips. And also, I got to two bonuses, but I actually have three bonuses. And so basically, I have to say to you that be prepared on this journey. Be prepared to be surprised. Be prepared to be confused. Be prepared to for your emotions to fluctuate. Be prepared to be excited. Be prepared to be blessed because we will be dealing with all of that, okay? And so some of the topics are um, to know that you're not alone. And I elaborated on these on the other YouTube channel, Shula Ministries Overcomers Anonymous. And the second one is... Um, in order for us to get the things that we never had, we have to do things that we've never done. And so basically, it in, but, uh, humbling ourselves to obey God, have the mind in us that Christ had to obey God, to do what he says and not do our own thing, all of that. And number three, um, that your past has no bearing on the future that Christ has for us. Okay, your past, I don't care what it is. It has no bearing. Toss it. it, has no bearing. And number four, you will make progress, but it won't be perfect. Now that's the reality because if you're anything like me, I want to do things perfect, okay? It ain't happening, okay? Accept that reality. You may make, you're gonna make progress. If you stay in Christ, you're gonna make progress, but you will not be perfect. So let's not get hung up on that. Let's just continue to keep our focus on solution and not the problem, okay, to keep forward. All right, and number and number five is forces. Satan is not going to stop vying for our time, our attention, for dominion, and for kingship in our lives. He's not going to stop. However, Jesus would be like quietly sil waiting, not silent, but quietly waiting because we have the power of choice. Okay. And so basically the forces will be with us. Okay. But because of Christ dying, he can secure those that is tempted because he was tempted. He has overcame this world. He can help us to overcome this world. Okay. And so basically when we are healed, it's usually on a the line of how things happen. You know, sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. But however, healing comes from Christ, okay? Healing comes from God. And number six was, do I have a number six? I didn't talk about this because I got kind of confused. Um, okay. Number six is, Your, your state of mind, your state of mind is like everything. You know, we can't have the things that God wants for us if we're constantly thinking negative. If our past is our focus, if we think that other people have some bearing on what God has for us, no, okay? And so basically, you know, in this YouTube, usually 
I do a piece of a song and I haven't really chosen a song. I have some songs written down here and I'll choose as we go along. But anyhow, I'd like to thank you for 1400 subscribers. Please continue to share the video and comment y'all. I like to hear what you think. Okay. Or leave me a topic. I'll just say hello. I just want to hear from, I really like to make these YouTubes, you know, interactive. Okay. And so I'm trying to figure out what this always, um, Okay, I think it's saying, I can't even read my own handwriting. I think it's saying, things will not always be favorable. You know, and that is because God's ways, God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And so the avenue possibly in which he wants us to go, to do a certain thing, to have a certain thing, it's not always compare or line up with what we think. We need to keep things in perspective. He is creator. He is God. We are creation. Okay. And so we need to keep things in perspective. And so one of the bonuses is, um, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus endured temptation. And so therefore he would give us the power to endure that temptation. He has overcome this world. So we have power in, in Christ. And so a lot of times what I do is I lay stuff before him. God, did you hear this right here? What do you think that I should do about this God? Like to humble ourselves. And I like God likes that. And I like to tell you a story, but I really don't have time. But read in your leisure, Second Chronicles chapter 18 and 19. And it tells a story about Ahab and also King Jehoshaphat. Now, to show you how that pleases God with us going before him and trusting in him and leaning on him. God was well pleased with Jehoshaphat and he blessed him. Ahab, on the other hand, was basically people pleasing. You know, he wanted people to say all good things. The prophets, you know, lying prophets, just telling him what he wanted to hear. Okay. And it didn't profit, profit him at any. Joseph had, on the other hand, he humbled himself before God, okay? And we have to do that, you know, to humble ourselves with before God, to recognize who we are, you know? Our arms is too short to box with God, and we are no, no match for Satan, okay? And so basically, we need to keep ourselves in God. Okay, the second bonus is get comfortable with friends in high places. And that is because sometimes God separates us to develop us, to heal us, to strengthen us so that when we go back and reach for our brothers and sisters, we're stronger. Okay. So get comfortable with friends in high places. And the third one was, and I think I already said this one, be prepared to be surprised, confused, excited, and blessed. Okay. And so these are some of the realities that I'm going to be elaborating on in the other um, YouTube channel, um, Shula Ministries Overcomers Anonymous. Um, so, okay. So the song that I think I'm going to sing is, um, I serve a risen savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living no matter what men may say. Now we just sit right to the verse. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He, he lives within my heart. And we have to remember, there's a war going on for your soul. Don't be fooled. Jesus is the only one name given among men whereby we can be saved. Choose it before it's too late. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, and dominion forever. Amen. See you in the next YouTube.